Darrell, grand final week, you must be really excited. Yeah, um, you know, after the game on Thursday, we've had a long weekend you know, for recovery and stuff. So, uh, But now Monday's here, you know, grand final week's here. Really looking forward to the build-up. It's been a big year for the Wolves. You've won the league leaders. You came very, very close at Warrington. How much is the disappointment of, we of Wembley sorry, driving you boys on? Yeah, like you say, it was a massive disappointment. Even more so that we felt we had the game you know, in a good situation to win it. So... That was even more uh, disappointing, but you know uh, we had to pick ourselves up. You know we were second in the league, pretty much guaranteed a semi-final at the time. Um, we're still the league to play for, and obviously the grand final. So uh, yeah, now we're here, not too much. You know, thinking about the Wembley one now. So all focus on uh, Saturday. It's been a tough run in. You've had to go to Hull and beat Hull. You've beat Saints at home, and now you've got Wigan in front of you. It's another big test, isn't it? Yeah, you know, we got writ off by a lot of people going to Wolves, you know, with uh, a few key players missing and uh, quite a few young guys in, but, you know, they stepped up on the night and uh, we got the job done. And, uh, you know, there was all the talk last week, you know, St. Helens and the Hoodoo and whatever, we can't beat them at home. So, they were, um, yeah, it was pretty good to get the offers back as well and uh, come through that win. So, yeah, but, uh, yeah, putting them behind us now and uh, looking forward to Saturday and uh, all us uh, focuses on Saturday. You've had the privilege of playing at Wembley. Now you're going to play at Old Trafford with the Warrington Wolves. Are you, what's that? How exciting is it? You're going to be playing here. Yeah, no, that's the reason why I come to a club like Warrington is to, you know, playing them massive games and playing them finals. So, uh, you know, winning my first bit of uh, team silverware as well every week. You know, the league leaders. So hopefully I can add to that on Saturday with um, you know the greatest prize of all. We obviously saw you move from Castleford. Is it fair to say it took you a while to set in? Would settle in? Would that be right? Um, yeah, you could. You could say so, you know, obviously um, moving away from home, you know, a different club, um, a lot of new people around me, like a new team, so, yeah, I don't know, I can't say if it did or it didn't have an effect, but um, it must have done something, you know, to see the performances go downhill last year, so, um, but to be back playing, you know, some good rugby and uh, playing in finals this year is uh, pleasing. So we are seeing the real Daryl Clark this year, you've been fantastic, you must be delighted with your own form. Um, well, yeah, I'd like to think so, so um, I feel it's... Uh, a mile, mile better than it was last year, so hopefully uh, can keep improving with the Wolves and um, play more finals and hopefully win a few. Tony says he's biased and he's got the best front row in Super League. What is it like playing with Chris Hill and Aston Sims? They're like machines, aren't they? Yeah, they've had a great year. You know, if I'm playing off back of uh, good forwards, that's a massive help for me in my game. So, um, but not taking anything away from Sims, you know, early I think he's been outstanding all year. And, to me, I think he's been the standout forward in the year, so a bit surprised that he wasn't up there and about with the Man of Steel, you know, shortlist, but like you say, it's, the, it's, it's not me who vote, so that's probably why, but um, yeah, um, yeah, they have a massive impact on my game. Looking at Wigan, big physical side, are you expecting a, a, a tough battle, or do you think there'll be some good rugby on show? It's always a tough battle against Wigan, you know, they're a quality team all the way through, you know, they've got quality youngsters that stand in as well, so... Whatever team they field at weekend, it's going to be a it's going to be a solid game. We know that, and uh, to get anything from it, we'll have to turn up and be be on his game. Otherwise, you know, we're going to hold a, a team that can turn you over. And having played at Wembley already this season, how important is it to have experienced that big game atmosphere? Uh, yeah, I think it's important. But speaking to the lads, you know, apparently the atmosphere is a lot different, and uh, the crowd's more on top of you and playing at night. You know, it's a bit of a different feel. So uh, I'm going to try and not take too much from Wembley, and uh, you know, look forward to a new experience on Saturday.